Hello and welcome back to the Wellness Check. Today we will be talking about a very common question that comes my way when someone finds out that I am an EMDR therapist. And aside from the question of what is EMDR therapy, what is that? We've already covered that on this channel. The common curiosity is around who's a good fit for EMDR. You know, I'll talk with individuals, strangers at the grocery store, passengers on a plane, um, mutual friends or acquaintances at a party, you name it. They, you know, when you have the small talk of what do you do for a living, this comes up. And some people say, you know, I've been really interested in EMDR. I just don't know if it's for me because I can't say that I've been really traumatized, so to speak, right? They use the big T word. And I love to have this conversation and just really help people of all kinds, backgrounds, ages, etc., to help them understand really truly what EMDR is and who it can help, who it can benefit. And of course, I think the stereotype maybe of EMDR is that it's for trauma, right? It's developed for trauma processing. You've heard me say that on many, many of my videos in the past. And it is, but that's not all right that would be pretty limited if that's the only thing it can do for people and oftentimes I have people come in here that have not been to war they have not been to combat they have not you know gotten a divorce they have not gone through really significant grief whatever those big T traumas are that we consider not everybody can identify with so is EMDR good for them too and the answer is a resounding yes the joke, it's kind of a joke, but it's also pretty true, is that we are uh, all traumatized in one way or another. We just have a big misconception on what trauma really means, an exaggerated, I guess, idea of what trauma can actually be. The little joke that I say is being born is traumatizing. Going from your mother's womb into the world, breathing oxygen and coming out of what you've known up to that point is traumatizing and that's even if you have a safe labor and delivery so we've all experienced trauma and a lot of what I try to support people with and help them understand is that trauma can mean a lot of different things it can mean yes those big ticket items but it can also mean very real everyday type stuff as well so if if you've ever known someone or if you are prone to feeling sad sometimes okay if you feel anxious or nervous sometimes hopefully everybody should be saying well yeah I've felt those things before because these are human conditions so EMDR is really good for anxiety it's good for depression it's good for life changes and transitions it's good for loss, it's good for grief, it's good for OCD. The, the list can just go on and on. Any human being that is walking this earth truthfully can benefit from EMDR. And my rule of thumb is, can it hurt, right? When it, whenever I'm evaluating anybody, my, my first question and really my go-to is, can this hurt? And no, re I mean, really, like, as long as we're taking a very thorough background of who you are and um, what kind of life events you've had and all like the whole background and we have a really good sense of who you are as a human being and what it is that you're struggling with how you manage stress what stress feels like to you that's really the groundwork we need because as EMDR clinicians we can tailor um, we can tailor the trauma processing to whatever it is that you're going through. It's very adaptable in that way. Same also goes for brain spotting. I'm just gonna maybe loop both of those in here that this is not just about EMDR, this is brain spotting, this is trauma processing altogether. So I have people come in here all the time with normal everyday issues and we do some EMDR with it, and not only does it tend to bring to light some of the deeper, maybe more unconscious 
things that are bothering them, issues that are bothering them, and bring them to light. Now we can really connect the dots more fully. Gain a lot of insight. It also really just helps with their self-esteem, their time management, their boundaries, their communication skills, their relationships, both friendly or familial or intimate. There's always disruptions one way or another with relationships. Um, with anybody, right? Whether it's a parent-child relationship, whether it's peer-to-peer or something else, two human beings coming together in any sort of dynamic like that is bound to cause issues maybe at some point or another. And EMDR can really help to uncover our response systems. So why we feel the way we do, what our triggers are, uh, how we respond to the world when we're stressed or when we're activated in that way. Actually, there's a lot to say about that and a lot to uncover. We're not just people walking around feeling and reacting all the time. There's real reasons why we do that, and it's a very individual thing. Our own life experiences have a lot to say about that. And EMDR uncovers all of that appropriately and safely, and as it needs to come out, it does. And we talk about it in the office. And then after your session, you know, you have like, these homework assignments, so to speak, of notice. Just notice what happens when you're in this relationship or when that thing is said or when you didn't feel supported in that way. Notice what that feels like in your body. Notice what your thoughts are about that, what your responses are to that situation or that person. Let's really get in, get some more information about this. You come back into session a week later or so, we continue the processing and sooner rather than later these relationships start to change in a beneficial way in a helpful way not only that but this interpersonal experience how we feel about ourselves what it feels like to be us begins to evolve and change and heal and grow because now we're really paying attention to the whys and the what's and how is this happening and what does all this mean emdr unlocks all that brain spotting unlocks all of that and that's not something we're just sitting around talking about on a daily basis these really deep kind of um, under the conscious level experiences and how they've impacted us so this is just a reminder because it's been coming to me a lot by people saying I don't know like would EMDR be right for me would brain spotting be right for me I don't know if I if I'm traumatized enough people say that and my response is yes it could be helpful and no you don't have to be a certain level of traumatized for it to be beneficial if you are a human being then you have feelings and you have experiences and you have relationships and even if you can't count on one hand terrible things that have happened to you and thank goodness for that EMDR brain spotting trauma processing is always helpful I haven't yet seen it not be helpful and I have all sorts of different people walk in here from very walk different walks of life so if anything I hope that this is encouraging that if you are considering therapy for yourself or for a loved one that this can be an option and that you don't have to table it or think to yourself that that's not for me like I can't access that or like whatever that thought might be you can You can, and it might be in your best effort to do so, so that you can just begin to understand yourself, understand the world around you on such a deeper level that comes from a deeper place. I'll end with this, and it's a nod to my client interactions with EMDR and their experience with it, brain spotting too. Uh, Most of them say, oh, that feels so different. That feels so different than the talk therapy I've done. I have people that have come in doing 30 plus years of therapy. They've had multiple therapists over the years. And while talk therapy is wonderful, and I do talk therapy in here every day, sometimes it can only get you so far because you're not doing that neurological work. You're not tapping into the part of the brain where those things are held, which EMDR and brain spotting do they're very different you're not just sitting on a couch with you know across the room from your therapist and talking about your feelings it is a different experience it feels different when you're doing it 
It feels different when you are released from the therapist's office and you live your life for those, those days and weeks in between. Things begin to shift and it feels different. And what I say to that is different is not bad. Different is new. Different is maybe uncomfortable in the beginning because it's something that you haven't experienced. But let's see where this different can take you that other forms of therapy or whatever that might be could not get you there, right? So whether you are a total newcomer and you've never talked to a therapist uh, or a counselor in your entire life and this just feels really scary, or you are a seasoned uh, therapy goer and you've been doing it for decades, if you haven't done EMDR, if you haven't done brain spotting, give it a try. Can it hurt? That's my question. Can it hurt? No. Really, really, really. It's worth giving a shot. It's worth trying it out and seeing what kind of connections you can make to get to that next level of growth. Um, it, it can change your world. I've seen it day in and day out. So I hope that answers some questions of, gosh, Katie talks a lot about EMDR and trauma, and that's just not me, but I'm also not feeling that well, and things aren't going that well. What do I do? What do I do? Well, we try EMDR. We try brain spotting. We see how it feels, and we go from there. Okay. Well, as always, thank you for checking in with your wellness. I hope you get to try some EMDR, some brain spotting in your near future. Find someone that's trained or certified. Get to know your therapist. Re really start that relationship, that therapeutic relationship. And I'd love to hear some feedback. Have a wonderful day. I'll check in with you soon.